Today, we are going to discuss starting a non-medical home care business in a non-regulated state. Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Williams, aka Coach Michelle. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, you already know how I feel about you. Mwah! So guys, this video is for you if you are in a non-regulated state and you are considering starting a non-medical home care business. So what I want you to do is get your pen and paper. And of course, you can come back because I leave my videos up for you to watch at your convenience. So based on my experience, there are some benefits pros and cons of starting a non-medical home care business in a non-regulated state. So I'm going to break them down step by step. Sometimes I freestyle, so just be ready. So I would say benefits, you have the flexibility of expanding whenever you feel the time is right. So you don't have to go back to the state to get approval, etc. You can create your own schedule and set your business hours based on your desire, meaning you do not have to have your office hours during a time for the state to come in and do announced and or unannounced visits. And this is going to allow you to make a positive impact on the clients that you serve, the families, by offering services that you may not be able to offer in a regulated state. You don't have to worry about training as far as experience, training, education, etc. It allows you to build a strong relationship within your local community. You're not limited at all based on rules and regulations. An example is sharing an office space. You can share an office space in a non-regulated state. And then there are some pros. Hmm. Being your own boss is a pro regardless of if you're in a regulated or non-regulated state. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And serving a variety of individuals with different needs and backgrounds, an example would be you may have someone that wants to come to your agency for once a month service. And if you're in a regulated state, it may not make sense because you have supervisory visits and things you need to you know, manage, where if you're in a non-regulated state, you can do that. You still can create a personalized care plan, service plan, so your caregiver knows exactly what to do when he or she is in the home. You would make it tailored specifically to that individual needs, the requirements of the scope of services that you're providing, and generate a steady income. You know what I mean? So that's definitely gonna be a pro, being able to consistently generate that income. And then I would say fulfillment because you're going to be able to create a business that you love, not based on a state's guidelines. And then, of course, there are some cons. Lack of oversight, meaning this inconsistency could be something that may happen, right? And I would say competitors. A lot of people are thinking about competitors. So, you know, you may have one of my clients as a competitor and they're operating on a higher level because I teach them to work as if you are in a regulated state to help differentiate you from others. And then, of course, you have liability issues, right? So you may not be, you know, not may not, you're not required to have specific insurances. So guess what? you may have some liability issues. So you wanna make sure you adhere to all of those things. And if you're in a non-regulated state and you are offering, say like medication management, which is something really popular, medication administration, you may not have yourself covered properly. If you do offer those services, you wanna make sure you have licensed personnel even though you're in a non-regulated state. So that's really important for you to take into consideration. So even though you have these this this free range, if you will, you still want to make sure that you're operating at the highest level possible because you still need to protect yourself, your business, your caregivers, and of course your clients. So you want to make sure whatever services you decide to offer, especially, especially if you're in a state that doesn't regulate home health. Now, that's a whole nother beast. So meaning your scope of service could be why. So just because someone is is requesting a, a level of care and you say okay i'm gonna get a nurse but guess what that nurse still should be operating under the guidelines of a doctor's order so you want to be very careful just don't arbitrarily go out there because you're in a non-regulated state and just go you know and do whatever it is that someone asks you to do you still want to set up guidelines you still want policies and procedures you still want processes in place so you can operate safely efficiently 
and at the highest quality level as possible. So I want to recap on a few things, guys, because I went through it kind of fast because I know my people. I know y'all busy. I know y'all love it, you know, straight to the point, no fluff. However, I want to touch on medication administration because that's something really popular in all states and not every state as a non-medical home care agency owner can offer. However, if you're in a non-regulated state, again, there's some pros and some cons. So you want to make sure you still have some guidelines set in place. You need to have it written down. You need to make sure these are prescription, you know, drugs. You need to make sure you know what the side effects are. The caregiver knows what the side effects are. I would say you still need to have some type of doctor's order or something or actually make sure the family has already separated the medication or a licensed professional has already separated the medication in a pill bottle. You just want to be as safe as possible, guys, when you are offering the services. So that's just a tip that I'm giving you, right? So I'm not telling you how to do it because that's above and outside of my scope of services. However, I'm just throwing things out there so you could be as safe as possible. And again, the second one that I want you guys to pay close attention to, background checks. If you're in a non-regulated state and you're not required to do a background check, you still, and the reason why, let me clarify that a little, guys. I said, if you're in a non-regulated state and you're not required to do background checks, because some states, even though they don't regulate home care, they do still require that a caregiver has a background check. So you want to make sure you check every single thing pertaining to this industry to make sure you are operating legally and safely as possible. Okay. So even if your state says no background checks on caregivers, please, 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 please do not send anyone out without a criminal background check to take care of someone's loved one. That's so important, guys. You want to make sure you check the sex offender registry, their background, etc., before you send them out. Actually, before you hire them for your business, you want to make sure you know what you're getting into. Now, if you have a policy where you hire individuals with a uh, criminal history, that's your business. That's between you and your policies and procedures. I'm just giving you my opinion, my experience, my feedback, and try to keep you guys as safe as possible, as long as possible, so you can have a thriving, prosperous business to be able to serve your community. So that's, you know, real quick to the point. Take care, guys. Oh, mm, don't forget, subscribe, like, Turn on your notifications so you can be notified each and every time I drop a video. Right now, for the last mm, couple of months, maybe for the entire 2024, we've been dropping videos on Tuesday and Friday. So take care. God bless. And if you want to know more about my services and how my team and I can help you, go to homecarecoaching.com. Homecarecoaching.com. Check out the services. And don't forget to get your ticket to the 2025 Home Care Empowerment Conference. It will change your life. Take care, guys. God bless.